Uh, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to solve the last machine in Cyber Sick Labs, the beginner machines. And the machine name is Lazy, the operating system is Linux. And it is the last one among the beginner machines. So uh, next we're going to move to Challenge Labs. The Challenge Labs, I guess we're going to spend... Um, um, we're not going to spend too much time on these uh, machines. Every day we're going to solve one. So these are the difficult ones. We haven't started with these yet. So today will be the last machine in the beginner labs. All of these walkthroughs of these machines, you can find them in the CyberSec Labs walkthrough in my playlist. I don't think it's hard to find it. Okay. So uh, as you can see, we scanned the machine. Uh, and we found um, some open ports. We have 22 for SSH, we have 80 HTTP, and the server is running NGNX. Uh, we go down, we see some uh, other results. So here we have 139 over 5, which means we have some shares on the file system. And the server is Samba, so that's interesting. Uh, if we go down, we can see that the operating system is Linux, the name is Lazy, and it's pretty much that's all about the uh, footprints of this target. So the next thing, we have two options to pick up. We have, we can either go with HTTP or we can go with um, the Samba server. Uh, so basically, let's start with the HTTP. So we can do a bit of enumeration on that. Uh, basically, it opens a blank page. So I'm going to jump right into the part that is relevant to the uh, video. So here we make this up and sudo nikto dash h. The IP is 172.31.1.1. Let's make sure that's the correct IP. Yep. Okay. So let's now scan the web server for potential vulnerabilities, like we always do. We try to hunt a weak. We have to try to hunt weaknesses in the um, server. So Nikto uh, for, is good for an initial scan for the applications. We can uh, have some insights on what is running there. Okay, so let's leave the um, scan running, and we can split the window again. So here we're gonna tackle down the SMP or the Samba server, sorry. So, uh, basically for the Samba server, we can use Enium for Linux, right? So sudo Enium for Linux, but PUI, PL. We put the target IP, which is 172, 1, 1.1. 1. Let's enumerate the shares. Uh, let's remove the PL. Okay, so here let's go up. Let's examine the results. What's in the Samba server? Um, so basically, non user names, administrator. Okay, let's go down. Enumerating work groups, domain. Let's go down. We don't have. Okay, so here we have some stuff. Work group. Um, so here we have some notes. Server doesn't allow session using username, password, aborting reminder of tests. Okay. So the enumeration with Enum for Linux uh, hasn't worked for us. Let's clear. And let's see. It seems like we have got some stuff here for Nikto. Oh, look. We found some stuff here saying we have some potentially interesting archives, cert. JKS. Seems like certificate files for the SSL. Backup. Let's try to examine the results here. Um, let's put that out here. Launch browser. Let's see the backup.jks. What's what what is this about? So 172 31 1.1 1 .1 slash uh, backup. Uh, 
Welcome to, okay, that's pretty much basic. We see some nonsense here, right? I don't understand the results. So we have site.sir, site. Dot, oh, I don't understand the, the mind of the person who has none of this. Um, go down. Site, let's try site. Oh, same. So it's, it seems like the page opens the same, the, the observer opens the same page regardless of the request we sent. Okay, let me stop the uh, NictoScan. So NictoScan seems futile for me. I'm going to stop it. Okay, I'm going to drop the terminal here. So I only have three terminals. Let's go back to the Nmap scan. Uh, in real case you know, that's pretty quick actually. You're not gonna uh, finish an enumeration phase that quick. Uh, so we finished the enumeration for HTTP and we haven't found something of interest for us. Uh, for the Samba here, we tried to enumerate but we haven't found something. Now the next uh, action is to find vulnerability for NGINX or Samba. So we can here type search, exploit, ng inx 1.1.19 let's find an exact match exploit no results okay i am fine with this let's try now with samba um so we have here two Okay, let me try with this one, 3.6.25. Hmm, so we got one result, is known pipe name. Let's open that, link. Oh, restart app. Okay, let's copy the link and open that with the Chrome. So Samba 3.5.0 is known pipe name, arbitrary module load, Metasploit. Okay, let's examine more. So here is the exploit. And here is the description. Samba is known pipe name arbitrary module load. This module triggers an arbitrary shared library load vulnerability in Samba versions, specified as is. This module requires valid credentials. A writable folder in an accessible share. So we need some valid credentials, which we don't have. Uh, we need a writable folder in an accessible share. So we need to have some share mounted on the Samba server and inside the share we need to have a folder that we can write to. A knowledge of the server side path of the writable folder. In some cases anonymous access combined with common file system locations can be used to automatically exploit this vulnerability. So he is saying if you have anonymous access you can you can still use the exploit. To run SMP map sudo SMP Oh, let's first clear here and see we have this. Okay, let's click this here, smbmap.py and we can specify a blank username, blank password, and then the host. Command not found. So go 533. So again, we have some typo. Can fix that easily. Okay. All right. So here we have. We can see the tool has uh, successfully enumerated the shares, and we can see that we have one share, 
folder, a shared publicly shared folder, which is uh, which which has read write access. So we can write to that folder and we can read its content. And the IPC and print shares are not accessible. We don't have access to it. That's a, that's what's supposed to be. Uh, that's supposed to be the default um, state for your public shares if you have one. Uh, so basically, be aware that you, whenever you share a public folder, you put some authentication on it with the exact right permissions. Okay, so you have public here, right? Which which which, see, which, uh, which um, fits the requirement of the exploit. So if you go back to the exploit, he is saying that we need valid credentials. So the blank credentials worked, or the anonymous, right? So now we can safely assume that we can um, use Metasploit to try our luck with this exploit. It's going to work, I know. But demonstration should be um, put in place. Okay. So we launch MSF Council. All right, let's go back and see this exploit. So the name is known pipe name. Let's search for this. So here, search type exploit name. Okay, so we have one here. Exploit Linux Samba is known pipe name. So here, the blank authentication or the anonymous authentication will allow us to exploit this vulnerability. You see, sometimes it's not, there's nothing wrong with your software. I know it's outdated, even though it's outdated, I know that, but sometimes the more trivial stuff leads to the more complicated stuff, which is, I mean, you may say that, well, um, the authentication is something less critical than a vulnerability in your software, right? Well, I think it's the opposite. If uh, these guys, or if the if, if some, some some day you encounter this exploit in one of uh, the devices or the or your clients you are testing, and you actually saw that there is a vulnerability, that their software is vulnerable, the SMB server, the Samba server is vulnerable, and there is an actual exploit, right? This one. But it turns out that they have proper authentication and you can't, you don't have access to these authentication uh, uh, details like the credentials. So you're not going to be able to exploit that, right? Okay, so here we type uh, use. Um, what was this? Okay, so um, show options. What do we have now? We have the R hosts, all right, that is accessible. We have the R port, SMP folder, SMP share name. We're gonna define this as public, right? And yeah, so set R host, 32.1. Set, let's go up and give the name of the accessible share, which is public. As I remember, no, it's up, up, up. Oh, I cleared it. Okay, no problem. So, paste, public, exploit, So we have successfully exploited the vulnerability and now we have got access to the remote host. So that was it, I guess. And here upon, we're gonna inspect the uh, privileges and you will see that we are root. So that was it, it's very easy. I am very sorry, but sometimes you see the lack of authentication is the reason for all of that. That's why it's very recommended to establish 
a classification for your data and see where is the sensitive data located on your uh, public servers. Once you locate the sensitive data, right, you know that there must be an authentication, a strict authentication mechanism implemented, right? And for, like for example, this, this share is public. The Samba server has some public shares. Even though it is public, right, and um, it's, but it's meant to be accessible only by your corporates or by the corporate or internal or the intended users. That is why even if it is public info, there must be an authentication mechanism that prevents uh, unauthorized read-write uh, operations. So we haven't, we don't, we don't have anything to do with the share, right? We haven't done any exfiltration. We don't have any interest in the details or in the data lies uh, lie in the public share, right? But we are interested in what is followed by the lack of authentication, which is the existence of a vulnerability that allowed us to, hit, to, get, to gain access to the uh, remote host. So here the command shall open, but I can't see any results. Port, yes. Uh, sessions dash I. Let me explode again. Okay, so ID, so as you can see, we are root, right? So we have rooted the system. So that was it. I hope you enjoyed this box, even though it's very easy. Uh, but I hope you enjoyed the process. And next, we're going to start with the challenge labs. So stay tuned. Cheers.